Welcome to the lesson on ordering numbers. Ordering numbers is one of the eight uh, activities uh, in middle school math HD for the iPad. Today we're going to look at um, ordering, uh, primarily looking at ordering fractions. We'll have a little bit of ordering um, integers. Um, for more help with ordering uh, decimal numbers, please check out the uh, lesson on uh, place value. In any event, we, we're looking now at a number line. We're going to try to um, look at how we can uh, mark some the, some points on this line uh, to show different fractions. So what I'm going to do is is um, is label uh, the left side of this line zero and the right side one. I'm just going to try to show you as, as fractions all, all the spots that we can we can mark in between zero and one. So there's tons and tons of different ways that we could do this, um, but we'll we'll start with uh, just putting a small little line right in, the, right in the center there and marking that as one half. Okay, so one half the distance between zero and one uh, is shown. Okay, and uh, just continuing that theme, let's, let's draw a line right in between that zero and the one half uh, and mark it as, as one quarter. Okay, so if that's one quarter, uh, right in the middle of one half, well, we can also call that two quarters. Okay, so following that pattern, uh, halfway between two quarters and one, uh, we can mark three quarters. Okay, we have a bit of a pattern going here. Um, I, can, I can also show that four quarters uh, is at the end of the line because one whole is really equivalent to, to four quarters or two halves for that matter. Um, but if you see this pattern, I, I've marked now a pink line halfway between zero and one quarter. Um, and, and what we're going to mark this as is one eighth. And I hope you see the pattern now that, that's really developing. And we have another equivalent fraction for one quarter, which is two eighths, three eighths. Um, again, at the halfway mark, um, and again, these equivalent fractions, one half is the same as two quarters, which is the same as four eighths, okay, which would be, would be the same as eight sixteenths if we continued it that far. Uh, the next point, halfway between a half and three quarters, would be five eighths. Uh, six eighths is equivalent to three quarters. And we have seven eighths. And we can also say that you know, one is also equivalent to eight eighths. And there's any number of ways that we can break up this line. We could, we could make it 20 fifths or hundreds. Um, I'm also going to show fifths. Uh, you can see the zero fifths, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths, all the way along the line. So um, these number lines are absolutely fantastic when you're just beginning to order uh, ordering uh, fractions um, because you can really get a, a strong visual of what you're doing. And you can really, like if your teacher asks you, you know, compare two fifths and three eighths, you can actually look on the number line and get a pretty good idea of which one is greater. So in middle school math, uh, what we've tried to do is introduce some fractions that uh, can easily be converted uh, to fractions out of 100 or out of 100 means uh, a percent. So for instance, we have 2 fifths and 12 25ths. So in middle school math, uh, you might be asked to convert uh, or decide which one of the, these two is greater. Is it 2 fifths or is it 12 uh, 20 fifths or, or order um, these two fractions. Um, so what, we, what you can do is essentially make uh, equivalent fractions of them. So the first one, 2 fifths equals something out of 100. Well, I know that if I multiply 5 times 20, I get 100. Uh, so if I do the same thing to the numerator up top, that two, uh, you know, they're, they're equal. So whatever I did to the numerator, I have to do to the denominator for this to remain equal. So I have to multiply that by 20 as well, uh, and I get 40 one hundredths or 40 percent. And I look on the other side and I see 12 twenty fifths equals something out of 100. So if it's equal, um, I must have multiplied uh, 25 by something to give me 100. Uh, well, I did, and that number is four. Okay, so uh, now. I have to do the same exact thing to the numerator. 12 times 4 is 48. So now we can clearly see that 48 is greater than 40. So we know now that 12 25ths is greater than 2 fifths. So like I said, in middle school math HD, all of the fractions are set up this way so that they can, uh, that if you can do some quick math, that you can figure out, okay, I can convert this to a percentage and then I can make that comparison. Also in this module, you'll have the opportunity to order integers, uh, which probably won't be quite as challenging as, as ordering the fractions, but we'll just take a quick look at uh, how to order uh, integers on a number line. So in the game, um, you'll see uh, integers all the way from negative 99 all the way up to positive 99. Um, but here right now, we'll just, we'll just focus on um, numbers between negative 10 and positive 12. So really the idea of, of ordering the integers in the game is to focus on uh, least to greatest. Um, so Picking out the, the least of the, the four uh, numbers shown, or four integers shown, uh, is negative six. Uh, next um, to the right from um, uh, negative six is uh, negative one. Uh, finally, we're into the positives, which is positive three, uh, and then positive eight. So um, that's all I've got for um, the ordering numbers modules. Uh, good luck with uh, middle school math HD, and uh, enjoy.